I get asked this question all the time, Alex, I want to buy an electric car. I'm ready to buy an electric car, but is Tesla my only choice? Now, my answer is going to pleasantly surprise you uh, or unpleasantly, depending on who you are. If you're Elon Musk, maybe not so much, but there are quite a few electric cars out there on the market that are good looking, uh, have a decent price and a decent range that you probably never heard of. So that's what we're going to talk about. However, I do understand why people have this sort of uh, um, opinion that Tesla, you know, Tesla kind of became synonymous with electric cars, much as like jacuzzi is uh, synonymous uh, uh, with uh, whirlpool tubs, right? When people say jacuzzi, they don't specifically mean a, a, a brand, but they just mean a whirlpool tub. And by the way, I assure you, there is a whirlpool tub right here in this picture. You just have to look very, very closely. But nevertheless, Tesla is the best car in the world and i'm you heard me right not just an electric car the best car in the world and it's probably gonna stay that way for a while but not everybody wants to get one depending you know in some uh, cases it's a little too expensive for people sometimes people look for a very specific uh, feature or something that's extremely luxury and in some cases like myself you know people don't want to become part of a cult because that's you know tesla is kind of a part of a cult that's not very easy to get out of i'm a recovering tesla owner myself so some people just don't want to do it and so uh most believe that uh tesla is the only electric car choice out there and maybe there's just like maybe a prius also uh and and then i have to smack him upside down and tell him that no prius is not even an electric car at all and if you buy one uh, we're just not going to be friends after that. All right, so let's talk about all of the electric cars that are on the market right now. Uh, and by the way, uh, there will be like five or six other ones that are also very decent coming on the market by the end of this year. And if you want to keep uh, up with that, this is the right place for you guys. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon uh, so you don't miss anything moving forward. And let me just mention that, yes, you probably have heard that uh, Tesla has the best supercharging network, as I call it, right? Fast charging your car when you when you go on the long distance to visit your mother-in-law, I'm assuming, uh, and, and, and you need to fast charge. Now, you know, that was true until about a couple of years ago, but now in Europe, there's an Ionity and a few other uh, fast charging networks. And here in the United States, Electrify America, that have grown so fast that pretty much by the end of the year, they will cover most of the major routes and will be able to charge your car in some cases faster than Tesla superchargers. Um, pricing is still an issue, but it is going to be in place. Uh, and right now, even it's in place in most, uh, in most uh, geographic locations. All right, so let's talk about the cars. And first, let's start with Audi e-tron. You probably have seen this one on the street and never knew it was an electric car because it looks like a regular Audi. It's got a grill even. And I, I, I drove one uh, last year and I thought it was a great car. Uh, starts about $70,000 before the incentives. Uh, is a little bit over 200 mile in range. And I gotta tell you, it's 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 a good luxury car. Uh, let's move on with a uh, Jaguar. Jaguar has an I Pace. Once again, you probably have seen it on the road. Never knew it was actually an electric car. Now this one starts around sixty plus thousand dollars, but they've been having kind of issues selling it for some reason, even though I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous car. Uh, so you can pick it up relatively cheap, especially if you're going for a lease. And when I say cheap, you know, obviously we're still talking about a luxury car. Um, now about 230, 240 miles in range, so not bad at all. And I should mention that Mercedes has its own car. Once again, looks like a Mercedes, drives like a Mercedes. I drove one in Frankfurt, very, very nice and quiet. Now, they were going to release the car uh, in the United States uh, this year, priced at around $60,000, decided to delay it until next year. But in Europe, you can drive this car, you can buy this car, again, over 200 mile range, uh, and again, at just a pure luxury Mercedes. Now, let's talk about Porsche Taycan. You might have heard about this one for a couple of reasons. First of all, they've advertised during the Super Bowl, one of the few automakers to advertise their electric car only, uh, during their Super Bowl commercial, and uh, they are pretty much uh, considered to be the, the the only car that's closest in terms of performance specs to Tesla. It doesn't quite beat it, but definitely it's very, very close. People love the way it looks, even though it 
It's not as gorgeous as the original prototype uh, concept cars, uh, car, but, but it's definitely out there. The problem with this car is that it's pretty pricey. It starts a little above $100,000, goes all the way around $200,000. The only person who I know who owns it is actually Bill Gates, <laughs> who bought this car. But people who love Porsches actually think it's the best Porsche ever made. It just happened to be electric. As a matter of fact, being electric helped it to be the best Porsche out there. So that's kind of a big statement from, from Porsche drivers. All right, let's talk about cars that most of us can actually afford. Uh, of course, the range is gonna go down and maybe some of the design is not gonna be as gorgeous, but let's talk about them because I think most people are interested in these cars. Before that, a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out their all electric SUV coming next year to America and Europe. It costs absolutely nothing to make your reservation. So go to the description of this video and make your reservation today. And Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla. Uh, use E4 Electric the name of this channel uh, as a discount code for purchases over $100. All right, so let's talk about some of our more affordable cars. And we'll start with a car that, that sold over 100,000 now. And you've seen it on the street, I'm sure. It's a Chevy Bolt. Now, it has a very decent range, over 250 miles. Um, and it's, a, it's, pre, it's got pretty good electronics inside, uh, but it's not exactly a good-looking car. Uh, however, right now, you can buy them. You know, they go on sale on and off, but you can buy it at a really, really reasonable price. I just saw a, a deal somewhere, I think it was a few thousand dollars down and $200 a month on the lease. Um, and I just happened to see, I was invited to this exclusive showing at General Motors headquarters when they showed us the second generation Bolt and, um, and it's, it's got a refresh, but it's still going to look like similar to this. It's not going to be a sexy car, but nevertheless, it's the choice. All right, let's move on to BMW i3, which a car that I probably dislike the most. Uh, not because it, after all these years of BMW producing it, um, the range is still only about 150 miles with a hefty price. Though Once again, this one you can also buy relatively cheap with all the sales, but also um, I absolutely hate the design. I don't even want to say design. It looks like they never hired a designer. Now, if the looks of this car doesn't bother, if you just want to walk like this to the car and then get in there, it's not a bad car. It's a, it's a BMW. And again, if the range is okay with you and you can get a good deal on them, then it is definitely a choice. Now let's talk about Mini Cooper, which also a Mini is owned by BMW. And this car, the Mini Cooper SE is going on sale literally this month. So I'm still going to include it in this video. It's priced at around $30,000, so after all the incentives, you can pick it up for about 20-something. The range, the range is a problem. It's about 110, 120 miles uh, of range, so if you want to use it as a city car, people love these cars, they enjoy these cars, uh, and, and the price tag, you know, after incentives, it, you, can, you, can, you can get it relatively cheap, so it is a choice. Now, next car has been on the market for a while. As a matter of fact, I had to look it up whether or not they're still making it, and it's a Volkswagen e-Golf. Now, Volkswagen is going to be offering an ID4 here in, in the United States by the end of the year that's going to look better, has better tech and a better range. This one, however, is at around $30,000, so with incentives closer to 20, uh, but it also has about 110 to 120 mile range. People who buy them and they're okay with the range, hey, it's a good looking Volkswagen and they do like this car. Now, let's talk about the Nissan Leaf. And you're probably surprised by the way it looks if you haven't kept up with the uh, Nissan Leaf a uh, 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 nation there uh, because the original Nissan Leaf is uh, ridiculously fugly but this Nissan looks pretty decent as a matter of fact the Nissan just let me borrow this for about a week and I gotta tell you it drives very nice it's got some really nice driving assistant uh, features um, again it's 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 an entry-level car so there's nothing super luxurious about it um, it starts at $30,000 so after incentives once again the price is very reasonable uh, that one goes about 150 uh, miles on one charge however you can get, get an upgraded battery then that one will go over 200 miles on one charge so now let's talk about a couple of cars that i really really like and these are the cars that i actually recommend to my friends when they're looking for a car that's 
not a Tesla, but can also cost around $30,000 after incentives or even less. And I'm talking about Hyundai Kona EV. Um, it's about mid 30s, uh, high 30s, but again, this is before incentives. Uh, about 250 miles in range. It's a good looking compact SUV, something that a lot of people really like. Um, and I, you know, I've driven one and, and I really, really like this one. But my favorite is still uh, is made by the sister company Kia, and this is a Kia Niro EV. Again, mid 30s to high 30s. That's the starting price. That's before the incentive, so you can pick it up around 30 or even under. But this one, despite the fact that it's rated in about around 250 miles of VPA range, the real world range is actually reported by most of the drivers higher which is very rare that the real world range real world range is higher than the epa range and a lot of people are reporting it at around 300 miles when i test drove this car and i test drove the crap out of it in santa cruz and i still was able to get about 280 miles of it so if you drive it carefully i can see how we can get to 300 miles so i would strongly consider this car and let me also mention reno zoe for those of you watching the United States, probably never heard of this car, but in Europe it's been selling for a long time. They're on the third generation now, about 250 miles. That's the current range, and it still starts around 30, if you convert it to about 30,000 American dollars. Um, and uh, it's one of the best sellers in some of the countries. So if you're in Europe, this is definitely a good choice with a good range. And, uh, you know, th third generation means the tech is, is pretty good as well. So as you can see, <laughs> even though I went really, really fast, uh, these cars on the market right now, um, the, the incentives are out there. You can get, you know, even $10,000 in some cases off of these cars. You don't have to spend money on gas or oil changes or transmission fuel changes or tune-ups. And I can go on and on and on. You get a carpool sticker and all of those awesome parking lots very close to the grocery store or Ikea or wherever you shop so there's a lot of uh there are a lot of perks still to own an electric car now don't forget there's five or six models that are going to be uh available by the end of this year so if you don't have to get one right now you might want to wait there's a ford uh, a mustang mike e and a few others but I'll make a different videos ab about it uh, some other time. So don't forget to subscribe. Uh, looking forward to your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.